Morning, mate. Welcome back to Factorio with me, Jetty. We're back in our definitive guide, and today's episode, today's episode, today's episode, I would really like to go and flatten these spiders that have re-expanded into some of the territory I cleaned up. At the same time, I'd like to build a wall here and here, so we're completely defended. That, I'd actually really like to build a wall across, because that's a really narrow choke point. And I really don't want them re expanding into here. We can already see, but if we turn on pollution, that they have expanded back up. And this one, these guys won't expand yet because they're not in the pollution cloud. When they become in the pollution cloud, well, when they the pollution cloud spreads and they start absorbing pollution, that's when they might ex expand into the pollution cloud further. Um, but instead of doing all that today, we're going to double science. Uh, going to double science, going to rearrange, possibly rearrange the bus a little bit. At the same time, uh, probably deal with these things. Because although the laser has been upgraded, as you can see, they're doing way better than they were. There are a few hot spots that we keep getting, like over here, where they're getting far too close to the wall. So, that's today's plan. But first, the intro. So with that out of the way, first thing we're going to do is, like I said, double science. So we're going to copy red and green, well, red science, uh, dump it right there, take our belt all the way down, all the way across, leave it there for just a second, whilst we add this belt to the mix. That's a lot of inserters. You don't need quite... I think I slipped on placing down the blueprint. Okay, solved. Uh, we can then deconstruct that, deconstruct that, add that one belt in there. Green science, same story. We're just going to copy. We're going to paste. We're going to bring our belt down. You're going to need a power pole on that side. Done. Red and green science, easily doubled. Military, uh, chemical science, not so much. Military, military is one of the sciences I wouldn't double. Okay, you don't use it that often. Um, if you look at our research, like most of it is purple yellow we do have a couple of military researchers so like let's start here combat robotics actually let's speak about researchers things i want to have done before we go out and expand further i'd love to have a power armor mark ii mainly the description armor with a huge equipment grid and an inventory size bonus that says it all uh i'd love to have combat robotics 3 so we can show off the combat robotics uh actually before that i want a portable fusion reactor to actually power our armor because the moment we're running on solar panels uh combat robotics 3 because i want to finish demonstrating them uh and as you can see like well actually these are perfect examples this is a military research cost 400 packs this is a military research cost 200 packs this is a military research research cost 300 packs each belt segment holds eight items so that's 40 belt that's another 40 belt uh i have a calculator built in the factory i actually do but i can't remember the commands for it so 80 times eight at 640 possible military science i can have buffered between here and here there is no great need to have military go faster if you're concerned about it which i know there's somebody out there who is what we can do is we can no nope, we want a blue inserter we can buffer the science packs. So what I want to do is I want to put down three inserters, nice little loop. Uh, actually, we'll probably move the box to that side. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I pull off the military pack I want to buffer and then put it back onto the far side of the belt. So we have to make sure that we remember which way inserters are, go. They're, they're lazy. They like taking from the close side and they're like putting on the far side. So we're going to make sure this is pointing onto the far side of the belt where the rest of the military packs are. And we're going to say, you are going to run on military science, which is going to put it on the ground. And then this guy will put it in a box. And we're going to cap that to... They stack in 200. So let's go with 400. 400 seems like a pretty good number. And then if we just clear off this belt a little bit, we can confirm he's definitely putting the packs on the right side of the belt. So dump those back in there. I'll put those in that machine so he can put them back on the belt for us. And that's military fixed. Chemical science, I didn't quite leave myself enough room. Um, so chemical science, we'll come back to. That's how we're going to deal with that problem. Uh, as for... Purple science. Purple science should be a fairly easy one. Um, we're going to have to double this. Uh, like so. Now, I don't strictly have to double it because there is some overproduction here, but we're going to double it anyway. Uh, we're going to remove those belts because I think I'm going to need a little bit more room to double that. Lo and behold, I need, uh, lo and behold, I need a bit more room. 
I'm going to pick up that belt as well. And then we're going to go from here to here. And that's a shame. Okay, hang on. Let's think about this, JD. If I put an assembler there, those would have to be up another tile. Uh, um, yes. Uh, nope, we want to uncap that one. We want to pick up those two. We're going to put all of those in there, cap it back to one slot. Put, uh, cap that back to, no, put them all in there, then cap that to four slots, done. Uh, yes, stop that. That's a lot of train track. We're going to dump that into storage. Just deconstruct the box, please. And put another purple science here. Because I have this one machine that, that I have... Okay, I have seven, seven, seven machines doing um, production sites. And if I was double it, I'd have 14. 14 is a dividable, dividable, divisible by two, which means technically this machine could do another one. And then I'd only need six machines being there to there, roughly, roughly. Uh, these are made in pairs, so it still doesn't really help me. Turns out it lines up right there, so we're going to paste that right there. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that's going to come down, that's going to come around, that's going to tag in there. Uh, all the train tracks need to go away. We need to continue that belt onto there. I need to work out my spaghetti. That needs to go in there. That needs to go in there. Uh, you're going to need an inserter. Yeah, these are designed in pairs. So that's a pair, that's a pair, and I have, well, the train tracks are designed in pairs, out to four. So that's one set. That's two sets. That's four. That's eight. That's 16. That's 18. I have an odd amount, but that's fine. That's fine. We're just going to have this guy is going to make train track. We can put in another train guy if we really wanted, but we're already making train tracks in our workshop, wherever it is right here. Uh, so we have plenty of train track as is. If we hook up that belt, that should increase purple science, which we're going to run the belt all the way down here now. Okay. So that's fixed that problem. Uh, also, at the same time, we're going to take the mass amount of stuff I have in storage. Uh, put those back in there. Pull out those. Put 50 back in there. And rather than waste them, we're just going to physically insert them into machines, holding the right click preferably. So we spread them out a little bit better. Okay, so that's that done. That's that solved. That's solved. That's solved. It still is a small problem with yellow science. Gobots, we have faith in you. Uh, I don't want those. Oh, actually, no, I do want those. I'm requesting those. Okay, purple pots can go in that machine. Yellow pots can go in that machine. All right. So, we need to have more engines, more electric engines, and more robot frames. And then the belt has to loop around and go into our yellow science. On top of that, I think this uses just about a whole belt worth of copper. Um, if I go back to my... Uh, takes in 10 copper, 2.5 plastic, 1.5 green chips per st uh, and steel, 1 iron, 0.35 gears. So, taking in 10 copper per second is a bit of a problem when the belt only supports 15 copper. But we do have a solution for that. It's called Red Belt. And if I red belt everything back to there, and then I actually put in a red splitter there, 
what can happen is we can use this yellow belt and this yellow belt, combine them down into this splitter, which is also going to be red, which will give us 15 and 15, being 30 total, which we can travel down this belt, which when we double the build is now going to use 20 copper, um, which is still lower than the 30 the belt produces. But a few more things that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to do a bit more rearranging. Uh, you can have more science packs. Okay, so I need to double this. Now, engines... We paste that there. Yep, that moved. Okay, engines are done. Now, engines are going to need a second pipe machine. So we're going to have to work out how to get a second pipe machine up here. And the easiest answer is just put it in line. Yes, this 100% works. You can have an underground go under and grab up. Okay. Uh, great time, Biters. You wanted to provide an example for me. I'm sure that was the issue. I don't have landfill on me, so I'm going to copy some landfill. We're going to extend the wall, or the, the ground, out right here. And those substations which I had earlier. Do I have one? Did I not have substations on my quick bar? No. I have guns double up. Okay, we don't need guns anymore so we're going to put substations on there i do have substations on me all right we're going to put a substation right there and then after the bots get up here and put landfill down we're going to put lasers all the way along here which should provide us enough firepower at this corner to make sure that this poor laser doesn't get smacked in the face all the time uh oh you can't build on water there we go we can put down one landfill there and fix that problem at the same time so that should double engines, uh, which you just became a straight bit of pipe. Yep. Uh, okay, so oh. then we have to do the same with electric engines, uh, which we're just going to paste like so. It does have an acid pipe on the way. We'll just rearrange that slightly. Uh, weren't we putting electric engines in the network? Obviously not. Uh, one of them. Uh, one of those chests. You're going to do electric engines, and we're going to count you to one. That bit of pipe goes away. Uh, we add one belt there. Oh, oh, you're the robot machine. Okay. So the robot -y machine will have to get slid up to the end, which will probably be there. I'm not sure, but we'll find out in a second. If I put down the robot frames, like so, we're good so far. Uh, now, I am missing one robot frame, okay? Machine, entirely. But I do know, because I made the blueprints, that we actually have a certain amount of overproduction up here. Uh, paste. Roll back. Landfill. Uh, put down a substation like that. Delete those. Is this landfill done? It is. Laser. Laser, laser, laser. Mm. Laser, 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 laser. Hopefully that fixes that problem. Okay, so I do know I have a little bit of extra production. Okay, so we should be covered there. So again, we're going to slide this belt out. Uh, this is going to get picked up entirely. Uh, yeah, um, low density structures don't stack well in your inventory, just in case you were curious. I'm going to stack to 10, and 10's not a lot. Uh, can I have those back, please? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to manually put them in those machines so they're out of my way. We're going to go to this machine, give him 50 to put back on the belt. Go to this machine, give him 9 to put back on the belt. Oh, it was a construction bot flying over no man's land. I said that would happen. Uh, 
you could also do it with a substation and actually yeah i know you can't reach i'm holding shift it's just not obviously holding it hard enough okay there 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 oh there 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 let me guess it's another bot flying yep yeah. bots flying over no man's land um ill advised i did warn that this would happen I also don't have a good answer for it. They're getting landfill from here, and they're going to there. And that's sort of the most direct route possible. Um, and some sacrifices will be made along the way. Yes. Uh, I apologize, robot. I do apologize. Oh, I'm not going to do anything about it, but I apologize. Okay. So we want to take low-density structures. We want to extend that out. Now, ooh, that has a pipe in the middle. That's okay. It actually managed to miss every assembler. Which is shocking. So we take this belt around, around, and back up to. What? Oh, that's right. Nope, stop, 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 stop. So. This side of the build goes into that, and then it goes all the way up and all the way around and all the way back down there. Yeah, I know. Efficient use of belts. Okay, but that should double that science as well. Which means... Um, I think we're just going to run the belts around because it's just easier. Yeah, that's my official diagnosis. It's easier. Okay, confirm that we're definitely getting enough copper. Oh... Uh, Seem to have missed some power poles in the blueprinting process. So the copper will be short to start with. But by the time the last machine gets all the copper it needs, it should be able to do a full cycle. Providing my splitter up here is working. Yep, that's moving a full 30 items per second. We can tell by hitting M for map view and seeing that that is definitely running at full speed. There's no gaps on the belt. Uh, plastic? Plastic's not a problem, is it? No. No, it's just taking a little while to get here. So, the idea is... That this should get 20 copper, and then after it gets its 20 copper, before it starts its next cycle, and it's f 5 plastic, before it starts its next cycle, it should find another 20 copper. At least that's the hope. But all the machines, every single machine is trying to get a full amount in the machine, plus a full amount spare. Um, I'm going to see they're definitely slowly getting there. I guess the last guy in the row still went on plastic. So he's trying to actually put 40 copper in the machine, 4 steel, and 10 plastic. And that's the thing, when you boot up a new build, it takes a little while for the belts to catch up and the assemblers to catch up. But... We have five plastic. We should end up with 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 twenty no ten plastic and forty copper. Yes, we're good to go. Okay, so that's fixed that problem. This belt we're just going to drag out and around. Of course, I aimed directly at a pipe. We're going to underground an underground pipe. Don't ask. Don't ask. Everything's fine if you don't look at it too hard. Uh, we're going to come up here. And that should be that. We'll take those yellow science packs and dump them back into this machine to go back on the belt. And that should fix that problem. Now, it still leaves us a chemical science problem uh, and my hopes of rearranging the bus. So, chemical science. Uh, again, if I refer to this, we can see we need uh, one iron, 0.75 red chips, 0.5 gears, uh, and steel and 0.25 sulfur per second, which produces 30 science per minute. Now, this has been upgraded from the uh, tier 1 assembler to a tier 2 assembler, so it actually mo moves 50% uh, more. So rather than being one iron, it's one and a half iron, which is actually means this guy, rather than using 10 copper, was using 15 copper, and then we've just doubled it, so now it's using 30 copper. So it's actually using a whole belt's worth of copper, a whole red belt's worth of copper, I should add. Yep, that's going to cause some issues down the line. Um, okay, that's a problem for fixing later. So, uh, again, I'm going to need a second assembler right here. We're going to... 
do that. Put a assembly machine there. Put that there. Put that there. Uh, copy that to there. Uh, experience tells me I need a second pipe machine. It's pretty much what it comes down to. Uh, now I need to go from 10 machines to 20. And I need to go from 12 machines to 24 machines. So, we're going to attempt to use some of our free space. Uh, you have two inputs. One input, two input. One output. Sure. And then we'll put the other set there. And then ten engine machines. I don't see why we can't put them here. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, engine machines are going to require two inputs, being those two belts. Uh, if we copy a nice set of two, like so, we should be able to paste, 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 and paste. Uh, it just comes down to run the steel belt along here. Uh, run the pipe and gear belt along there. Take your output, wiggle it through the base just a little bit. Take it back in there and then bring it over the pore inserter that's grabbing excess engines. Uh, actually, can we get an extra? Can we get an extra engine machine? Poor bots, pick all that up and slide it over, will you? I think we can. I think if we tag that into there, we should be able to squeeze just one extra engine machine on the end. Because currently it's ratioed out that every engine we're producing is going into science. If I could get an extra engine machine out, which in theory has a possibility of running sometimes. It's not going to be running all that often. But it should give me just a tiny bit of extra engines out. Okay. Ooh. You know how I said just slide that all over a tile? How do you feel? No, I can't. I can't. Okay. It's going to go back to where it was. I'm actually going to run that belt even lower. Uh, actually, do you have to link into there? You do and you don't. Okay. I need soup. Nope. 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 Okay. I need sulfur and red circuits. Okay. That's a confirmed. So I definitely need these to go down this belt in the middle, okay? And with that, I'm going to want inserter, 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 uh, inserter, inserter, power pole. Copy, paste, paste, uh, paste, paste, and paste. The output belts we'll just bring to here for the moment. We'll work them out in a second. I need to hook you and you and you and you and you and you into power. I regret my decision already. You go up another tile. Yeah. Pick up that tile and we're gonna just physically dump the sulfur into machines. Uh, red circuits. Physically dump them into machines as well. I have no red circuits now, that's even better. Okay, so you guys are making engines. Yes. Okay. You guys are making engines. Now, in theory, these engines are just used for this build. In theory. You know what? So, if I actually underground that to there. We can duck under the inserter. Uh, under the the, 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 the... the assembler. And then I can bring my engine belt like that. That's a better idea. Okay, and then we're going to take you 
I'm going to put you on the end of the build, which is here, like so. Would I have liked to have got an extra engine machine? You betcha. Can we? Not really. Are we going to? You betcha. Uh, we're going to maximize every tile we have available. Uh, if I move that to there, and then I use that stellar power pole there, and then we go under this assembly machine up to there. Then I can take my steel belt around the outside. And I have two extra machines that technically I probably don't have enough pipes for, but it should be okay. And then just for clarification, we have doubled our engines, doubled our pipes. Uh, pipe machines are running flat out. There's nothing wrong with them. Steel's running fine. Our engines go up this belt, do a loop-de-loop -loop at the end, come back down, go all the way past blue uh, chemical science, all the way into this these machines, which are literally just waiting on engines mostly. Uh, blue science comes out here and here. We need to add them back into the system. Uh, by getting them joined together to start with. And then what we're going to do is I'm literally going to plug them in there. Because, awesomely enough... Uh, awesomely enough, they're already on that side of the belt. So I can just sideload them onto that side of the belt and we should be able to double our chemical science. Same time... Let's remove you... Uh, yeah, I'm going to remove those two. Here, have some science packs. Go do something. Okay, so that should have doubled our science, hopefully. Uh, you guys are missing engines. Engines just take so long to craft. And we've got to wait for a little bit of a backlog for things to catch up. But these, if we turn off alt mode, we can just double check quickly. All the assemblers are definitely running. I could do with an extra pipe machine. Do I have room? If I put you... Sure, why not? Okay. Actually, you know what? I have a bigger and better power pole. That still didn't fix my problem. I have two power poles. Alright, so we're going to put in an extra pipe machine. That'll definitely fix our pipe shortfall. All the machines are definitely running. Uh, yep, you're running, you're running, you're running. It should give us enough extra engines left over. Technically, I could probably just steal engines from one of these builds, except they're direct insertion. So I don't have a belt I can pick up the engines from. That's my only issue. Uh, robots are back up and running. Low-density structures are running. Yellow science. Oh, I didn't double that half. Oops. Fixed. Uh, yellow science is up and running. Purple science is up and running. If we go to our production stats, and we go for 10 minutes, and we go science... We're doing 70, 52, 46, 46, 40, and 2. Because we're not using military research currently. But we can already see that our consumption is up in the 75s. 75s, which is a lot better than the 45 that we were producing. So it's probably just a matter of everything needs a time to catch up. Mainly the chemical sciences. It was the last one I... Last one I fixed, last one I upgraded, it also had the shortest amount of belt buffer. So basically as fast as these guys are being being made, they're being consumed. Uh, products finished 2225, 2224, 321, yes. So everything's running. Now, with all that said, uh, that has become a shortfall. So what we need to do is we need to look in my inventory for an upgrade planner. We have an upgrade planner. We want to make anything that's yellow into red anything that's yellow into red anything that's yellow into red main reason i'm doing this is as you can see from our bus apart from the copper lane being dead we have a whole bunch of the base not doing anything and the only thing stopping us making the belts go faster is having more in or being input into the system so if somebody was to between episodes go actually go do something about this iron and that one worm that seems to be sitting on the edge of a lake. Uh, possibly not that copper, because I'd have to go clear some biters and we want to have power armor, which we're about to research. Uh, that iron... 
we've got a stone. We don't, well, we do need a second stone, but I don't need the a second stone. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our handy dandy upgrade planner. And actually, no, before we do that, 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 I want to rearrange one item on the bus. Our green circuit build, as you can see, is designed to output four lanes of green circuits. I only left my, myself room for three lanes because I chose to run gears with the green circuits. We're going to alleviate that problem. We're going to move gears up to here because we can. Uh, copy. Paste. All the pasting. Cool. Bots now have a job to do. We're going to run that belt that way, that belt that way, and that'll pipe that across. Now, it does mean that I'm now going to have to go through the whole bus just about. Is that the right tile? That is the right tile. Uh, right. And put in a brand new belt to... Bring gears back to there yes but the advantage of doing this after the fact well it's not really an advantage uh can i get though I, I need those gears to go away i need to cut that belt that's what i need to do and i need to you just go away gears i don't want to end up with storage full of gears that's probably the last thing we want oh and it would probably help if i gave you a new home uh, your new home can be right there. Okay, that goes... Whoop. That goes away. That goes away. All of that goes away. So, what I was trying to say is, once I've done this once, and if we hold down shift, we get a blueprint. I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want the power pole. I don't want that. I don't want that. I just want my stone line and my gear line. Create blueprint. Uh, assembly machine ones can go away. I just need a temporary spot to dump that. So I should be able to... Remove that. Uh, fix more problems by throwing lasers at it. Yep. Uh, take that and literally do oh, no not quite enough cutting uh, literally dump that in place and then we can get rid of that and we can get rid of that and we can get rid of that and I want to put some sort of cut in there we want to take that and we want to line it up like so and what is our next gears our next gears are right here can you guys just Put the rest of the gears on the belt for me, please. Thank you. All right, get rid of that. Put that in there. Uh, all they're done with. Uh, gears, 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 gears. Gears are used here. Uh, again, just do a, a pretty savage snap, uh, snip across the top. Uh, line you up. And that is some weird belt chankiness right there. Uh, technically you should be an underground, I guess. Technically now we're moving gears off. That should be an underground from there to there. And we should be able to go... Nope, that should be an underground from there to there. And that should become some straight beltage. Go away, go away. Yes. Uh... Gears are used anywhere else. No, that looks like the last one. And that's gears for engines, which are going to be used so incredibly slowly uh, that we're just going to have to accept our losses and have a few thousand gears in our inventory. Well, in central storage is probably more accurate. Uh, you go to there. You go to there. You go there. Uh, same story with you. You're underground. You're underground. All of that goes away. And you get presented with some nice pretty belts. So, that's done. That's done. Uh, it now means you and you can be put in your proper positions. Because we're not trying to work around something else anymore. 
Uh, you get ripped up. You get ripped up. You get ripped up. And that goes there instead. Sorry. This whole belt also gets ripped up. And we're good to go. Now, all I need to do is fill in my gaps. So fill that in. 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 So that should get gears running up the belt. That should get stone running up the belt. And it now means that you can go up a tile. You can go in there, and I now have a full, fresh, fourth belt of green suits. So, not things I recommend doing during your playthrough, having to rearrange your boss like that. But if you have to, it's honestly not that hard. Not after you get robots and things up and running. Uh, it doesn't take all that long to do. Like, we did that in, what, five minutes? I don't know. AJD can correct me, but it felt like five minutes. Actually, it felt like less, but I'm, I, I know all about Factorio time. Dis, uh, I want to say distillation, but I feel like that's the wrong word. Uh, distortion. Distortion is definitely an accurate word. And that should fix that problem. We should have gears going across the top. They're being fed into these one at a time. I just want to confirm they get in. At the same time, we're going to set the bots to do some jobs. We're going to go from our smelter block... We know our smelter block now runs at twice the speed, with twice the number of smelters. So at smelter number 12, we're already outputting a yellow belt's worth of plate. I'd like to do more. I'd like to do a red belt's worth. Uh, also means... Can we not? Oh. Oh. Uh, you guys, it doesn't look like, got fed one of those happy resupply ammo boxes. Uh, have a happy resupply ammo box. Where is the jut out? Right there. There we go. Fixed. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. We were talking about belts. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to use our upgrade planner. I want to upgrade. Same as I did with steel. I want the first half. Well, actually steel. I was lazy. I did the whole thing. So I want to go with the first half of each one of these. So we're going to just do the very front. Oh, we're out of coal. That's bad. Uh, again? Oh. It was a bot trying to do a repair who sacrificed itself. Okay. Coal problem. Coal problem, coal problem, coal problem. You're being split. Why are you being split? Oh, because you're helping with power. And this coal goes down to there. Okay, so what we're going to do is really quickly, because having your smelters not run is far from ideal, especially when we're in the process of about to double everything, is put a single splitter here. Which means the southern belt that's not running at full speed can now help the northern belt. Yeah. Okay. So, where were we? We were going to use an upgrade planner. Uh, that upgrade planner. So, we want to upgrade the backs of all these builds to red belt. Red belt speed. And at the same time, I want to upgrade... I'm talking here. I'm talking. Okay. We want to do the first half of the smelter block. Okay. Uh, for the ore belt in. In red belt. And then I want to do the second half of the smelter block out in red belt as well. Okay? That's what's required. Okay? So you can carefully, gingerly, ever so delicately go through each one of your smelter blocks and go, okay, that's more than halfway in. That's more than halfway out. That's more than halfway out. And I've got everything to there in red belt. Uh, that's halfway. That's halfway. And so on and so forth. Or you can be a JD and go every smelter block that exists between here and here. Can go to red belt. We'll do the coal. Or we'll do the stone one a little bit separately because it's a little bit special. Uh, 
and make sure our, output, our, our output belts are red. And then we can say, you know what? The whole copper line needs to go faster. Up until... like It's backed up at this point. It probably doesn't need to go faster from there on. Uh, the iron belt is backed up from here. So this part needs to go faster. As you can see, the workshop is kicked into high gear. And is just going to be decimating whole belts of materials. Uh, yep. It also doesn't help that we ran out of fuel. Uh, okay, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead, you're dead. I can see why we're running out of fuel. Definitely. Uh, that's our fuel line. Okay. If in doubt, add solid fuel. Uh, no, actually, let's not add solid fuel there. Let's add solid fuel here. Uh, input probably left. Yes, because I really want this to finish off burning up what coal we have. Um, we do need to look at alternate power sources in the not-too-distant future, namely nuclear power. Uh, but they are a later problem. Uh, our gear belt is... Okay, you and you actually can't be priority right. You guys... I'd say priority left, but I can't really do that either. Uh, because this is just going to eat all the gears currently. All the gears. Uh, making red belt, making red splitters, making red undergrounds, making all the things red. Uh, green circuits are definitely doing better. Uh, we still have to add that booster iron line, which I haven't done yet. But they're all going to be things we're going to do in the next episode. Because this episode went far too long. But we did get science upgraded. Which... Science... Uh was upgraded i think it's all died off because we're out of resources on the main bus <laughs> but science was upgraded uh actually no it's probably backed up it's backed up there you go okay so science has been upgraded all the belts are currently in the process of being upgraded the bots are going to have a fantastic job getting that done we've added more fuel into our furnaces which should kick in the last couple of furnaces that are having a struggle street uh what else have we done uh we've fixed off our edges by just landfilling in a little bit of the water. Um, actually, that corner's not being attacked. That one was. We fixed that. Uh, that one has been as well. Copy some of that. And we'll just fill that in slightly. Uh, with a substation. Which means I don't have to fill in that little bit. Yep, we're just going to put some lasers there. Uh, that one's been okay. But again, like a substation, oop, a substation, a bit of landfill, and an extra couple of lasers won't hurt. Uh, actually, can't have them too far forward. Let's, yeah, got to have them back a little bit. And this corner hasn't been an issue. Southern wall hasn't been an issue. Other southern wall hasn't been an issue. And the expansion parties keep coming. So, with all that said, I'm going to end the episode here. Again, I apologize. It's a little bit longer than I intended, but I want to fit in as much as we possibly could. So, in the next episode... We will be... I don't know. Uh, probably playing with our power armor. Now that research is done. Same time, I could be lazy. And rather than running a booster line, literally upgrade our existing lines to red belt. Uh, so I'm going to upgrade these. Uh, next episode, yeah, probably playing with... or well, making a power armor. Because it's probably going to take us a little while to do. Because I'm not going to automate it. Because I'll tell you all about that in the next episode. And you'll find out then. Um, and then maybe having a chat with the locals. Or actually probably doing... Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We could tap these outposts. Because um, we've sort of decimated our input lines. Well, actually, I'd have to upgrade every belt from here. Well, from our outposts back to red belt. Which we could do. It's just going to cost a crap ton of belt. But that's okay. Because eventually this guy will catch up. And we'll have some spare belt. But it probably won't be next episode. Anyway. Either way. Like I said. I'm going here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's episode. Alright. Bye. <music>